All right guys, so today we're gonna replace the alternator belt. Um, like in a previous video where I, I modified a four rib belt to make it work with the uh, D16A6 alternator. Well, I've managed to find a belt that, that's three ribbed and it's, it's possibly that will fit. fit. It's a 3PK785 belt. Um, it's this belt right here. Okay, well it's kind of reversed, but yeah, that's the, that's the belt. It's made by Bando. Um, I'm gonna just check to see if it, it'll fit. Um, let's get to work. Alright guys, so in order to change a um, alternator belt on, well I guess any Honda engine or D-series, um, you'll need to loosen up this adjusting bolt up here, and get the light kind of position. You need to loosen up the adjusting bolt right here, and then you also have to loosen up the bottom bolt, which is, you uh, uh, can't see it from here, but it is under here. And that helps the alternator rotate back and forth so that you could adjust the, the tension on the belt. So the, the best way to kind of get at the bottom bolt is from underneath here. So you remove that plastic guard around here and you can see the bolt pretty much right there all the way to the right. And that's like a 14 millimeter. So we'll just loosen that up. <laughs> And loosen up the adjusting bolt and you should be able to rotate the the alternator towards you and that should loosen the belt up so let's get to it All right guys, so as you can see, this is the, the belt that I've modified. You can kind of see the, the three ribs there, not very clear. But I basically just took an X-Acto blade and cut here. As said in the previous video, it'll work just fine, but it'd be better to find the actual belt that will fit. So here's the new belt made by Bando. Uh, I mean, they're, they're relatively the same length. So let's try this belt out. Sorry. 
All right, so let's bring you in. So that belt did fit. You'll need to basically pull the alternator really close to the front of the vehicle so that uh, gives it enough room. As you can see from the, um, can't, can't really see here, but as you can see from right there, the adjusting bolt, uh, it is pulled way towards the front. So now it's time to adjust the tension on this thing. So the top bolt is, I believe, torqued at 17 foot-pounds, and the bottom bolt is at 33 foot-pounds. So what I'm going to do is basically use a pry bar, and I'm going to be prying right about this area right here on the top of the alternator between the engine, like right there. Um, and... and Check the tension from there. So it should have about eight to 10 millimeters of play. So when you push the belt down with 22 pounds of tension, so just check your manual to, to determine that. So what you're gonna do is just basically push, after you tension the belt, you, you're gonna push down on it. So let's see, focus first. So you're gonna push down on the belt and this should be about 10 millimeters. Um, basically uh, eyeball it. If you don't have a tool to check it, uh, I don't have the tool, so I'm just going to eyeball it. So as you pry it and then um, it gets the right tension from checking the belt, um, you just tighten up the top bolt um, snugly before you torque it down and it should hold the tension on the belt and then it gives you enough time to go and get your torque wrench and torque them down to spec or just hand tighten it by eye if you want. Uh, I have a torque wrench so I'm going to be using that. And there you go, that's changed the alternator belt. Um, you'll want to fire up the car afterwards and just check if it squeaks or not. Uh, you might need more tension, might not. Um, just kind of double check after you fire up the car. Everything feels good right now. <clears throat> and another thing is, um, with the trick that I did with a, a hose putting into a hose, well that didn't work out too good. Um, basically the, the inner hose slipped out and and the, it caused some fuel leaking inside here in the engine, but um, I just got one of these little brackets here and tightened down the old hose and that seems to be working fine. Um, 
it's a little bit tight as I as you can see, but um, it works fine. The stock hose could I get a extended hose and and get one of those clamps and clamp it down as well. But um, this is all I had. Didn't want to spend any extra for an additional hose, and I don't think it matters too much as this bracket just come off and get much more play anyway. So I should be fine. So yeah, don't do that hose trick that I did. Didn't work. Anyways, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Cheers.